So looking at some of these exercises here, I'm just going to demonstrate a couple of these to kind of show you my thought process, all right? Remember that our golden rule that is that it's possible expanding, it's possible to expand the brackets in Boolean algebra expressions when an expression is anded. So what's happened here is it's been anded. So as a result, we're able to expand that. So what I've done here is C and D or C and B. All right, so that's kind of how we got to that with our first one. Now, our next one here, all right, I want you to take a close look at how this works. So we're going to look at the first side of this expression first, all right, because what we've got is C and D and B. We've also got C and D and A and E, but the difference here, the difference is that there is an OR gate here. So this is how my mindset works. I go C and D and B because they're the same, all right, and B. Or now I do this, C and D and A and E. So I keep this together, C and D and A and E. So that's how I get to my answer there. We'll do a couple more. So this side of things, all right, these are different, which is why they need to be separated. But here is our and that we can separate out. So we're going to have A and C or A and B or A and E, or A, and D. So you can see where I've separated them, there's been the OR gate, all right, because that's the OR expression. But with the AND, I've gone to each one of these to expand them out. Now, our last one to be aware of here is generally when I take my steps with this one, I'm going to take this in two parts. I'm going to expand out this part first, then expand out the rest of it. So let me just show you how that works first, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to think about this expression here, and I'm going to do, all right, E and A, okay, or E and B. So I've got that bit. I'm going to put this F here. F or, because it's only where the and is that we've done that. Now, the re now that's expanded out part one. So I've expanded that out. Our next step here is that we are going to expand the rest of this out now. So what this becomes is D and F or D and F and E because you can see they're the same. So D and, sorry, not F. That was my bad handwriting. D and E and A or D and E and B. So that is now expanded out. So sometimes you will need to take two steps to get there, and it's good to show how you've expanded it out in your exam. So I'm going to stop there, and then I'm going to do the next video, which shows how to get back. So this was expanding out. We're now going to look at how we can actually get to factorize it in our next video.